A human trafficking victim could be right down the street from you right now, and you wouldn't even know it. It isn't always easy to spot, but it's happening right now across Indiana. So that's according to human trafficking awareness experts. In less than two weeks, state law will change to help victims get out of the trafficking trade and stay alive. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams joins us now to explain. Even if there's just a handful, it's too many. Jessica Evans and her team work daily to end human trafficking. We describe ourselves as the bookends when it comes to human trafficking. So uh, we have a lot of prevention efforts. We do a lot of community education. We have a prevention curriculum for girls who are at risk for trafficking. According to the Indiana Attorney General's Chief Counsel of Investigations, the National Human Trafficking Hotline got 283 tips about potential human trafficking in Indiana. Of those, 93 calls had strong indications of trafficking, with 29 calls coming from actual victims. Often victims don't know. They wouldn't be able to say, I've been trafficked. Um, they just think it's part of their life or how things just are for them. And so um, it's going to be very, very rare that someone comes forward or you interact with someone and they say, I've been trafficked, unless they're farther along in their healing process to Recognize that. And Which is where Republican state rep Karen Engelman's new state law comes in. Starting July 1st, the state's requirement that a doctor report adult human trafficking victims to police goes away. Right now, adult victims could be charged with prostitution or be attacked by their abuser. Which is it was a deterrent for people to seek medical and professional uh, help because they were afraid they'd be turned into the authorities. And instead, they are required to be given um, information on how to seek help. Evan says she wants survivors to know you can get help now. I think any time we remove barriers between a, a victim or survivor and you know potential help, that's it's beneficial. I want to say that we care about about you and that we would like to help you in any way we can. If you or someone you know at any age is in the human trafficking trade right now, call the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. That number is 1-888-373-7888. And guys, that is a number that could honestly save somebody's mm -hmm. life that is in the trafficking trade right now. So good to know. And before you go, David, you mentioned the victims are mm -hmm. hard to spot and hard to know if there is one. What are some red flags we can all be looking out sure. for? Actually, the state, they have that covered. They have this. It's a list, a checklist of what to look out for. There's some things that stick out. You know, you want to look for somebody that might not know what exact city they're in or someone who isn't free to come and go as they please. And there's one that actually sticks out to me. You want to look for someone that looks like they've been branded by their uh, attacker or their person that kind of owns them. They may have a tattoo of their mm. person's name mm. or their symbol either on their arm or on their shoulder. So you want to look out for that and see if you can actually see it. Oh my goodness. I actually took a human trafficking tour around mm -hmm. the city. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. And it was amazing because the places we are at every day can be hot spots for this yeah. activity mm -hmm. and we don't even know what's going on. That's so so this is important stuff. Thank you, David. Good.